Hello, welcome to another episode on Matrix Math here in Code Tech Tutorials. My name is Matt. Today we're going to talk about vectors. And we're also going to cover magnitude, what a unit vector is, and how to normalize them. These are all very relevant uh, parts of a, uh, a matrix, a special matrix. So a vector is a special matrix, and it is one in which it is of size n by 1 or 1 by n. So if it's n by 1, it's a column vector where it has n rows and one column. So it might look something like this, and it can go as far down or however big you want it to be uh, to the size of n. And likewise, if it's a row vector, it goes like so, and so on. And of course, these elements can be anything. They're not necessarily going to be a simple number, but that's just standard with matrices. So let's talk a little bit about what all we can do with them. One of the main things you'll see is magnitude. And to calculate a mag magnitude on a vector, you basically square each element and then add them all together and then take the square root of that result. So it'll look something like this. Say we have a y and it's standard to represent vectors as a bold lowercase letter whereas matrices are often an uppercase bold letter. So we'll say y equals, I don't know, let's just do some sort of simple result. We'll do a 1, a 7, a 0, a negative 2. We'll just keep it that small. And magnitude is often shown by these two bars on either side. So if you have some sort of question, for example, where it's what is the magnitude of y, you'll say, well, the magnitude of y is... Uh, 1 squared plus 7 squared plus 0 squared. I'll put these in parentheses. So that's how it's often represented. Plus negative 2 squared. And then the square root of all that. So that is going to equal 2 plus, what's 7 times 7? 49. 0 squared, of course, is 0. 0 and then negative 2 squared turns into 4. It's negative 2 times negative 2. And of course square root of all that. And that's going to equal, let's see, 51 plus another 4. So square root of 55 is the result. So the magnitude of this y vector is 55. There's, there's the answer. Now the magnitude is important because you can use it to, find, to normalize a vector. So we want to normalize the same vector. Uh, let me do a quick copy here. I'm just going to copy this. And we're going to go to a new layer, paste it in, merge it down, anchor it down, whatever it takes. Okay, there we go. And I'll put it in here. Uh, normalized. And I guess while we're at it, I'll go ahead and define unit vector. Well, a vector is called a unit vector if its magnitude is equal to 1. So if you calculate up the, calculate up the magnitude and it's just the number 1, then you have a unit vector. Okay, let's continue on. So if you want to find the normalized y and find find normalized do some other wrong tool here uh, I'll put find normalized of this first you want to remember the, the magnitude or get the magnitude so we've already figured out that the magnitude of y is square root of 55 so what we do is we take each individual element 
and we divide it by the magnitude. So it's going to look like this. Uh, I'll put a big line across here to show that we're working a new problem. So it's going to be 1 over square root of 55 plus, oh, not a plus. It's just a vector. So that's the first element. This is the second element. There's the next element, which of course is just going to stay 0. Because 0 divided by anything, well, it's going to stay 0. And here's the fourth, fourth one. And uh, there you go. So that is going to be the normalized. vector. And I think that's going to be it. Thank you for watching this video. And I uh, hope to see you in the next one. Hope this helped understand vectors and how to normalize them and how that all works. And let's see here. I'm just going to read a quick definition. A vector is called a unit vector if its magnitude is equal to 1. A non-zero vector is said to be normalized if it is divided by its magnitude. Thus, a normalized vector is also a unit vector. So this should now be a unit vector. All right, thanks again. I'll see you in the next episode. Keep on learning, guys. And don't forget to give this a like to help with the YouTube algorithm and help my channel a little bit and help this video get seen. Peace out.